Hello and welcome to another fresh edition of Poly Playbook. We're serving up all the hot actions, cool plays, and everything in between for Cal Poly Athletics. I'm Connor McCarthy. Poly Playbook starts now. Cal Poly football remains in the top 25 of the conference as they enter their bye week following a 31-24 loss at North Dakota. The Mustangs enter their bye week ranked number 21 in the media poll and number 22 in the FCS coaches poll. Cal Poly has been ranked in the top 25 in 11 of the past 12 seasons. Four Big Sky Conference schools are in the top 25, including Cal Poly, Montana, North Dakota, and Eastern Washington. Cal Poly has a 2-1 record against these three teams this season. The Mustangs return to action next Saturday, October 15th, with a Big Sky Conference game at Portland State. This year, the Mustangs lost one of their star players, Wade Hamilton, to the pros, but one junior goalkeeper is stepping up to fill his shoes. This week's sports reporter Clara Knapp went out to talk to, with Eric Cam about his goals for the season. I've been playing ever since I was in kindergarten. I started when I was four or five. I knew it was something I just didn't want to give up on. You know, I had too much fun with it. If I, if I did give up on it, it was something that I would definitely look back on every day and something I wish I would have pursued more. Well, Eric Cam has, I think, become a very special goalkeeper. He's waited an awful long time behind Wade Hamilton to get his opportunity to play. Uh, Cal Poly is very blessed. Give it up for number one, Eric Cam. In these last two years, I've actually been a Wade Hamilton's backup keeper. I was able to take a lot of experience from him, learn from him, you know, adjust to the college level and uh, wait my turn and now it's finally I get to play. Derek has demonstrated that he can make the big save in the big game. Uh, when we need him to come up big, he does. Uh, and that's the sign of an outstanding goalkeeper. He has incredible reflexes. He has the ability to shot stop. His work ethic every single day has, has truly been exceptional. You can play for 60, 70 minutes of a game, you know, and not have to do much. And then all of a sudden, the ball will be coming down your goal, like the goal line, and you have to make a big save out of nowhere. If you let it go, that could cost a game. But everybody's expecting you to make these saves. And it's just constant pressure, you know, whether the ball is on your side or not on your side. He's been true to the task. Uh, he has been exceptional in making great, great saves. So, you know, and we're going to need him going forward to make, uh, continue to make those kinds of saves. You can make the big save at the end of the game, in the beginning of the game, keep your team in it. And, uh, you know, it's like you don't have to score goals to be heroes. You know, you can defensively do the same thing. I think Eric is coming into his own. He's, he's really becoming his own man, his own goalkeeper. Um, Wade had his own personality. Eric has his. Uh, I really believe that before it's all said and done, before his career is over here at Cal Poly, that, that Eric and Simon, both of them, will be right in the run to become professional goalkeepers just like Wade. It's like what you're expected to do. That's why we train so hard every day. And when you get put in the game situation, it's just you're ready for it. Eric Hamm and the rest of his team faced off at home against CSU Northridge Thursday night. The Mustangs tied with the Matadors 1-1 one -one after going to double overtime. Goalkeeper Eric Cam faced just three shots on goal and finished the game with two saves. The Mustangs outshot CSU Northridge, shooting the ball 18 times on goal compared to the Matadors, who shot only six times on goal. Cal Poly broke away in the first half during the 38th minute when junior forward Adam Olsen passed the ball to senior forward Justin Tillen to score his sixth goal of the season and 14th goal of his career. The final score was 1-1. One one. The Mustangs' next game is at home on Saturday against UC Irvine at 7 p.m. Cal Poly's women's soccer fell to Long Beach State 2-1 Thursday night. Before Thursday's loss, the Mustangs were in fifth, pay, in fifth place in the early standings with three points. Cal Poly's record is now 6-7-1. The team will now return home for another conference game. On Sunday, the Mustangs will host the Matadors of CSU Northridge. Kickoff is at noon in Alex G. Spano Stadium. In volleyball, the Cal Poly women's volleyball team is battled, battled it out against UC Irvine and Moth Athletic Center Thursday evening, sweeping the Anteaters. The Mustangs ranked up a total of 47 kills during the match, with junior Rihanna Greeson making 15 of those kills and sophomore Adele Van Winden making 14. Greeson made the most of her kills in set two, creating an overall attack percentage of .700. The overall, overall attack percentage of the team was .422, compared to UCI's percentage of .137. Freshman Mika Dixon led the team with nine digs during the match. The Mustangs will now face off Saturday against UCSB in Santa Barbara. Well, that's all we have for Poly Playbook Sports Action this week. You can follow us on Snapchat, Twitter, and Facebook, or you can log on to mustangnews.net for continuous Cal Poly sports coverage. I'm Connor McCarthy, and all of us from, from all of us here at Mustang News, have a great weekend.